Hello and welcome. I'm Shelly Ann Sidhu, blind artist and motivational speaker. So today I have something extra special for you. So I'll be sharing with you how I find my way painting as a blind artist and I'll also be taking you through the next series of videos on how I paint a landscape painting. Yes! So just to give you a little bit of background of myself, um, I was in a lab accident at the tender age of 24 and I got severely burned on my face, neck, chest, arms and hands. As a result, I lost my eyesight and my hands were in a fist. So gradually, um, after the accident, there's many times that I felt um, like trapped inside. I wanted to share with the world um, the bright, beautiful colors and how I felt inside. I was still excited about life, even though all I saw was darkness. Thankfully, I stumbled upon painting and um, I was having a conversation with a friend one day and she's like, Shelly, if you could do anything, what would it be? And I said, I wanted to paint. She's like, paint? She's like, okay, if anybody could do anything, it's you, Shelly Ann. So at that time, keep in mind, I never painted before and I could not even draw a stick figure. I was horrible. I mean, I was terrible. And um, what I did, I went with my friend to the lake and whatever he saw, he put the paint on a canvas and I started painting with, the, with my knuckles. And the more I did so every weekend, the more I wanted to fill my world with this art because it was a way that I could express myself. And so my hope for when someone sees my painting is to be inspired and to know that everything is possible because you, as you can imagine, you don't see many blind artists out there. And it's already a taboo being blind. Oh, how can you paint? Well, there's many things that we could do. There's always a possibility in what we can achieve. Everything is possible. So I will be sharing with you through my channel on how I live day-to-day -day life being blind, being completely, completely blind, being in complete darkness, and how I get by in life through my art, through my spoken words, and through my day-to-day -day life. So if you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe to my channel because you wouldn't want to miss a thing. This is an inspirational channel because I believe that everything is possible and you could achieve you can achieve anything that you set your heart and mind to. So let's get started. So how do I know my way around the canvas? As you can see, there's many little indicators that I use. And this is actually modeling paste that I use. Many blind artists, they use different things as tack or strings or sand. But for me, modeling paste works because when I apply it, I allow it to get dry. I want it to dry it stays firm on the cam canvas and I could feel my way around. And it also gives the painting the three-dimensional effect, which you'll be seeing shortly. So I do have the modeling paste on the top, in the middle, at the bottom, at the two sides, and at the two sides over here as well too in the middle. So at least that way I can know my way around the canvas at all times. So my landscape paintings, I normally paint mountains, um, pine trees, a body of water, and birds. So for me, the uh, mountains represents overcoming because I know, and journey actually as well too for me, because it reminds me that to reach the top of the mountain, I have to take one step at a time. And it's not about getting to the top. It's about the journey towards getting there. So that's why I try to incorporate mountains in my paintings. For me, the pine trees represent strength and togetherness because we stand tall and each one of us comes with different branches. And these branches are all the things that we had to overcome to make us into who we are today. And it's just not one pine tree that makes this painting looks beautiful. It's all of them together combined that we're all in this world together and we have to support and love each other. And the body of water always to me represents that um, you can flow through life. And regardless if you reach a rock or an obstacle, you can move with it. So this is what um, I try to incorporate in my paintings. So today I'll be showing you how I paint the mountains. 
So let's get started. So here I have my modeling paste. So first I apply the modeling paste, allow it to dry, and then after that I apply the paint. So let's get started here. So this is the center of the canvas. So I'm going to start here and just apply it. Keep in mind, I'm a self-taught artist. So all of you artists out there, I may be doing it wrong. Please forgive me, but I learned to paint after losing my eyesight. So this is just my way. Everyone have their own way. So this is how I do it. So as you can see, the mountain is taking its shape. So we're gonna have several mountains here. So it's just playing around with the modeling pace and just having fun because there's, for me, there's no right and wrong way for a painting. Um, painting is, everyone is unique and beautiful in its own way. So um, do try it yourself. I use modeling paste. You could use anything that you would like. And so this is the way that I paint my mountains. And in the next video, I'll be sharing with you how I paint the pine trees. And then eventually, I'm um, sorry, how I make the pine trees in my paintings. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So as you can see, this is how um, the mountains are gonna be. I'm gonna do two more, one on this side and one on the other side. And um, be sure to join me to, for the next video where I'll be showing with you how I do the pine trees as well. Until next time, sending you lots and lots of love. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.